So Mukesh, I thought perhaps we can start, I know I've heard you speak very passionately about just India's potential, uh, and especially since we were having the conversation about what can the next 10 years represent. <coughs> Maybe you can share, like you've talked about like how Indian economy will grow and how digital will be a big part of it. Maybe share your thoughts on how you see perhaps this economy thrive in the next 10 years. Absolutely. Before I answer that, Satya, uh, on behalf of all of us, a very warm welcome to India and Mumbai. And uh, I can tell you that uh, I wanted to warmly congratulate you on your leadership and the transformation and the success of Microsoft over the last uh, many years. And uh, I think every Indian oh, thank is very, very proud. <laughs> what I admire about uh, and what I learn in terms of saying that if in your leadership style, what you've demonstrated that if you have uh, empathy, if you rely on partnerships and build trusts and relationships, and uh, if you think about every mistake as a learning opportunity. And if you believe that it's not products or profit, but really people and their continuous reinvention of capability, that's the strength of the organization. I think all of us in India Inc. are inspired. And thank you for all your leadership. Personally, I am very committed and I'm very privileged, Satya, that you have uh, committed to India on a scale that I never anticipated that a multinational will. And we are very excited about the partnership that Geo and Microsoft will have. And I think that uh, that will be, as we look at this decade, will be a defining partnership. So Absolutely. thank you for your commitment to India. Absolutely. Thank you. Now, let me answer your question. Uh, I think that you know, as uh, we are speaking, President Trump has uh, arrived in Ahmedabad. And uh, the India that he will see in 2020 is very different from the India that either President Carter saw or Clinton saw when he came in 2020, or even Obama, mm -hmm. right? We are having millions of people on the street, each one of them having their own personal experience in, with their phones, and the network strong enough. And I think like, I can easily say that the mobile networks in India now are better or at par with anybody else in the world. And uh, that's the that's big change. When, you, when he reaches the stadium, right, and you talked about stadium, the infrastructure in that stadium in terms of digital is uh, better than any other place in the world. So that is uh, the India as we start in 2020. If you then even think about uh, you know, your own journey, and think about 1992 when you yeah. joined Microsoft, right? India was $300 billion. Today, India is $3 trillion. And fundamentally, right, this whole progress, right, in a certain way has happened on the back of technology. In the early days, it was uh, Rajesh's TCS, Infosys, uh, you know, and all of them who drove uh, technology in India. And that really kick-started with the financial, with all the economic right. reforms, kick-started this whole growth paradigm. It was supercharged in 2014 when Prime Minister uh, gave us the vision of digital India. And uh, if you then see what followed, and uh, you know, I was again privileged to play a very small role in it in terms of with the launch of Geo, 
and just to share with you and the audience, uh, pre-GEO, right? we had 256 kbps, which we called broadband in India. And post-GEO, we now have uh, 21 mbps on mobile data as the average speed available in every single village in India. That's amazing. Pre-GEO, pre price of data in this country was between 300 and 500 rupees. And for the poorest of poor, right, who used 2G, the price was as high as 10,000 rupees a GB. Post-GEO, the price is between 12 and 14 rupees a GB. And the usage, right, and a lot of, like, what GEO has achieved in the last uh, three years is 38 crore people, 380 million customers have migrated to this 4G technology. And that tells you the enthusiasm in the youth of India, the enthusiasm in consumption in India, and the enthusiasm even in my mother, who's 85 years old, and the amount of time she spends, right? So in your language, she has the greatest tech intensity and tech adoption. <laughs> so I think that's really what has happened. So consumption has also gone, gone up. And this has really become a people's movement. And when you then talk about the financial sector, right? we just introduced UPI and with digitization in December, right, we had 100% growth and total UPI transactions in this country digitally were two lakh crores. So what has happened is that because we've got infrastructure, right, we are uh, accelerating and we are just at the beginning, beginning. of and, this whole journey. And that's and one I, of the things, Mukesh, I was gonna ask you because in some sense, all of what you've done in laying out the network capability, you talked about what that has led to this, you know, people being empowered, consuming more, using more, and what, I mean, you have the best rates and connectivity today. Now, you also have an ambition to say, what can you do for small businesses, medium businesses, large, because you're now even saying, okay, how do we, in fact, our partnership in some sense is about how do you take what I talked about combine it with your domain expertise, your technology, and completely change even the landscape of broad sectoral change. So let me, again, Satya, start with saying that uh, Reliance was uh, founded as a startup, even before startups uh, became, like my father founded Reliance with a table and a chair and a thousand rupees. It was five decades ago. It then became a micro industry, then it became a small industry, medium. Today, you can consider us large. Right? I have been, again, very fortunate in terms of uh, knowing Steve and Bill from my Stanford days. So it was even before Microsoft was founded, Steve was uh, being recruited by Bill. Yeah, that's right. And I have seen the growth of Microsoft uh, uh, since there then. must have been something in the air that <laughs> both of you dropped out. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know why I'm saying this is uh, fundamentally to just drive the point that every small business and entrepreneur right, has the potential in India to become a Dhirubhai Ambani or a Bill Gates. And that is the power, that is what differentiates India from the rest of the world. I think that the entrepreneurial power that we have at the grassroots is enormous. And what this decade will offer, right? And if we even see the opening balance of small, medium, and micro enterprises, right? Uh, we have to realize that for India, they really provide 70%, even without any enablement, right? They provide 70% of India's employment. 
they drive 40% uh, of India's export. Yeah. And uh, they are critical to all the economic activity that we see. And they have done this, again, with zero technical enablement and adoption. So the opportunity there is to really go from no technology, no digitization, and really pole vault to adopt. And uh, our opportunity between Geo and Microsoft is to really give them full service to make sure that they are fully enabled with the tool set, the data sets, because the mindset exists, right, to really propel India forward. And that is even a bigger opportunity sure. than the consumer piece that we have seen in the last few years. Right. Tremendous. I mean, tremendous. I mean, maybe we can close out. I mean, you, you sort of referenced how your father, you know, five decades ago got started uh, with a dream and a hope of what is possible and created what is today, you know, one of the most amazing stories in business. When you, you now leading this organization, look out, what sort of drives you? What inspires you? What is it that you would like to see happen? Well, I think that uh, the opportunity that we have uh, for India really is the opportunity to become the premier digital society in the world. I think with all the components that are coming in place, right, uh, as we grow and march forward, right? I have no doubt in my mind that we will become among the top three economies in the world. Right? 20 years ago, we were saying, OK, where will India be? Now I think that if you talk to anybody, there is no doubt in anybody's mind. We can argue about whether it will happen in five years or 10 years, but it's going to happen. And we will be in the top three economies in the world. When that happens, right, our opportunity is, will we be? the most technically enabled society? Will we be having all our development enabled by all the tools of technology? Can we really be a pace setter yeah. in terms of uh, using all technology? And again, what our prime minister says is, can we then use technology for businesses so that businesses have ease of doing business but we then, in partnership, deliver ease of living for every citizen of India and build a society that is equal, has ethics, and really gives equal opportunity to empower everybody to find their potential. And that, I think, in the coming two decades, right, is the opportunity that India has. What next generations of India will see is a very different India than what you and I have grown up yeah, in. And I think all of us like, should be working towards that. Uh, our own partnership between uh, Geo and Microsoft right, will work with businesses from startups to micro enterprises to merchants and shopkeepers to really large enterprises in partnership really to drive and enable and build this new India. In fact, one thing that um, Akash will sort of uh, really be on me if I don't mention is even gaming. I think in the next decade, you may become a gamer. <laughs> <laughs> That's difficult, but uh, like, uh, I think that we're, again, Akash is, is very excited in terms of uh, India, like gaming doesn't really exist in India. And with everything that we're doing in xCloud and our broadband connectivity, right? I think it's that uh, there is huge potential. And uh, for some of us like who don't know what gaming is, right? It's very hard to imagine that gaming will be bigger than music, movies, and uh, TV shows all put, put together. together. But we will see. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Mukesh. Thank you for your leadership and success. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all. Thank you, Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you, Sethi. That was good. Thank you, sir.